Hi everyone, my name is Monique. I'm Naveen. And today we are going to be continuing our Vital Lacerda series with The Gallerist. Yeah, this one again, designed by Vital Lacerda, came out in 2015. <laughs> Eagle Griffin Games published it, and it's got this massive box and a beautiful game. Yes, so this came out a year after the original Kanban was released, which is, that's really something to think about. Yeah, <laughs> you just know? pumping them out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and in this game, this is, at the time, was probably one of the more beautifully designed or illustrated game I mean, it's, it's about art. It's about art. It's That's about true. art, so... In this game, we play as gallerists, which is apparently a new occupation in this world. Is that what it is? I think so. Okay. And we're trying to become really good artist managers, um, museum curators, and art dealers. And at the end of the game, we're trying to have the most amount of money. So today we're going to start with a, an overview of how the game is played and then we're going to go into the full playthrough and review. We're going to include timestamps below, so if you're interested in kind of jumping around, feel free to do so. If you enjoy Vitala sort of content, there is a person on Instagram by the handle Play That Funky Board Game. His name is Thomas and all week he's been putting out some really good content regarding um, Vitala sort of games. So go ahead and head over there to check out his content and also he posts daily pictures of board games that are really, really good. So I would just recommend checking him out anyway. Play that funky board game. Yeah. Okay. That's it. But before we begin, if you can do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any rules mistakes, we can make the edits there. And if you like content like this and like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we're going to get started. So as per usual, let's take a look at the center of the table here because we have the beautiful gallerist game board. Now, if you don't recognize the art style, this was illustrated by the wonderful Ian O'Toole. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. He has a very uh, specific art style. So we're just going to start by kind of giving you the lay of the land and kind of showing you what is where, mm -hmm. right? Because there's kind of a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So like we mentioned earlier, we are gallerists. We're trying to discover artists, which is kind of over here. We're trying to purchase their art, sell art, and also curate our own gallery yes. of art mm -hmm. up here. We also have areas where we can promote artists and international dealings, as well as uh, auctions that yep. we're going to be participating in. So this is a worker placement game. Mm -hmm. And it's simpler than Kanban, which was his most recent at the time worker placement game in that there are only four locations. These are the four locations here. And each location only has two different actions that you can take there. You're gonna choose one or the other. Right. So it's pretty simple in that regard. There are also executive actions, just like in other games. And uh, this is the first game to introduce what's called a kicked out action. So the way that the game works is we each have our own gallery. So today, Naveen and I are playing as purple and orange. The orange. So Naveen is orange and I am purple. We have our own gallery, which is the biggest, bigger kind of solid outlined area. Our gallery also has its own lobby, which is this kind of dashed line area. And in the middle, we all share a plaza. So that is how this middle area is interpreted. On your turn, you're going to choose one of these four locations to move to. So if I were to take my turn, I can say going there. And then at that location, each location, like I said earlier, has two different actions that you can take. You choose one of them to do. In addition, you can take an executive action before or after your location action. And then that's it, that ends your turn. The kicker to this game is say I'm here and now Naveen were to take his turn. If Naveen were to move to the spot that I'm in, I get kicked out and I move in the direction of that arrow to this black circle. And so after Naveen is done taking his entire turn, I get what's called a kicked out action. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of discuss that later. But that is pretty much how turn structure goes the entire game. Yep. We're going to be doing that over and over and over again in different combinations amongst the four locations until the game ends. So I'm just going to kind of briefly discuss what the different actions that you can take are, and then we'll talk about the little bits and explain the rest of it during the gameplay. So the first location that we have is the artist colony, which is this section here. So this is the worker placement spot, and this is the section that it is corresponding to. If you can kind of see this outlined area in like light blue, this is the artist colony. And here is where we discover artists as well as purchase artwork from them. Mm -hmm. So in the game, there are eight different artists and there are more than these in the box. We just chose randomly eight of them to use. And each row of artists specializes in a specific type of artwork. So in this row here, we have photographers. Then over here, we have sculptors. We have painters here. And then over here, we have uh, artists who specialize in abstract yeah, art. Abstract. So the first type of action you can take when going to this location is discovering an artist. As you can see right now, we only have one artist that is face up, everybody else is face down, mm -hmm. which means that this is the only artist that has been discovered so far. 
you can only buy art from artists who have been discovered. So that also means it's the only artist who we can buy art from. Right. So if we want to discover more artists, um, each of these artists can only be discovered once the entire game. So this action can only be, be taken seven times. And in addition to these little bonuses that we'll discuss while we play the game, what discovering an artist allows you to do is it allows you to commission a piece of artwork from them. So if I were to discover, say, this artist, I would take their signature and I would put it in this spot here, which means I now have a commissioned art from this artist. I'm not going to flip it over now because I don't want to reveal anything about the artist before mm -hmm. we play the game. Sure. But what that means is that as at any point during the game, I can go to this location to cash in my commissioned artwork and buy an art piece from them that's at its lowest price. Because over the course of the game, these artists are going to become more and more famous which means it'll increase the value of their art. Exactly. So getting a piece of commissioned artwork allows me to buy the art at its lowest price. It's kind of like you're invested in them. You're seeing a potential in them when they're starting out in the beginning. They're an underground artist, basically. Yes. Yeah. And the second action that you can take at this location is buying art. So buying art is as simple as it sounds. You're going to buy a piece of artwork from an artist that's already been discovered. Mm -hmm. This cube over here uh, tells you the price that the artwork is going for. So right now this artist is selling their art at a cost of three dollars. So that is its lowest price. In, you know, over the course of the game, this is going to move up as the art artist becomes more popular, which will increase the price of the art. Going there to buy this piece of art, I would pay three dollars. Then I would take the topmost piece of art from that corresponding artist stack, mm -hmm. which would be this one, and I would literally place it on my board face up. There are spots for four, technically, four pieces of art at any given time in your gallery. This last spot here, though, is only reserved for celebrity artists, which is a very late game thing, yes. if that. So technically, we only have three spots available to use. And that's pretty much it. Buying artwork will not only get you art, but it'll also increase the fame of the artist, mm -hmm. which means increasing the value of art for that artist. Um, and it'll also get you some extra bonuses, which we'll discuss during the during gameplay. The next location that we have is this location over here, which is called the sales office. So the sales office deals with this department over here, which are contracts. So the two different actions that you can take at this location are gaining contracts and selling art. So as a reminder, these are two different actions that you can only take one action on your turn. So as you can see here, each of the contracts show one of the four different types of art in the game. And so the whole point of going to this area is so that you can acquire these contracts to sell that specific type of art later on in the game. You cannot sell art without having a, a contract that's associated with it. Mm -hmm. So what you do when you go to this location is you can take a contract, say I were to take this one. When you take a contract, you're going to put it in one of these three spaces on your board. As you can see, each space also shows a specific color of ticket. The first space is brown, then this one's pink, and this is basically any of the three colors of tickets, which we haven't discussed yet. Mm -hmm. But what happens is you choose one of these three sections to put your contract in, and whichever one it covered up is the kind of ticket that you get. So this is a one-time bonus. It's going to go into your ticket area here, and now you've taken that bonus, you cannot take it ever again for the rest of the game. These two are still available, but this one has already been taken. That's it. You can only hold a maximum of three contracts that have not been fulfilled. Once you fulfill a contract, then it's going to get flipped over and then you'll be able to exchange it for a new contract. But until then, you must fulfill these ones. And now since we're on the topic of tickets, I kind of want to just take this moment to discuss tickets and visitors because they are a huge part of the game. So as you can see here in the middle of the board, we have these meeples. So there are three different types of visitors in this game, and they are denoted by the different colors. So there's pink, brown, and there are white. And so each type of visitor correlates to the different ticket types. Mm -hmm. Throughout the course of the game, we're going to be trying to get these visitors into our lobby and gallery so that they can do special things for us. Brown visitors are investors, and so brown visitors allow us to acquire more money. Pink visitors are influencers. And so influencers will help us gain more uh, influence, which we haven't discussed yet, but is a huge part of the game. And then the last type are the white ones, they're collectors. Collectors help us increase the fame of the artists that we're invested in. But a majority of the time, these um, visitors are not really worth much to us if they're in the plaza. They need to be in our lobby and gallery. So in order to get them there, we need to acquire these tickets. So on your turn, 
uh, as an executive action. And as a reminder, the executive action is taken before or after your location action. And you can only take one executive action. Mm -hmm. You can spend any number of these tickets to move the, the same colored visitor from the plaza into your gallery. And so the way that these work is you spend one ticket to move a visitor one space. So the spaces are, this is moving one space to go into the lobby from the plaza, and this is moving another space to go into my gallery. Um, if I had two brown tickets, if I had two brown tickets instead of one, then I would be able to spend them both to just go straight from the plaza into my gallery. Because mm -hmm. you can spend any number of these with one executive action. That's right. The kicker is that visitors inside the lobby are not considered safe. So if I didn't have two brown tickets and instead I had two pink tickets, I could spend both of these tickets to move Naveen's influencer out of his lobby into the plaza and into my lobby. Just know that that happens and that is a tactic. So this is kind of, it's easier to, to conceptualize this. The gallery has a solid line. So that's a protected location. So if my pink uh, visitor was there, she could not use those tickets to move in. The lobby, however, has a hashed line and those can get moved out. So that's a good way to keep track of it. Mm -hmm. They're not safe. They're not safe. <laughs> I apologize, by the way, I misspoke. The pink meeples are called uh, VIP. They're VIP guests. They're not Instagrammers. But they do provide you with influence. Oh, okay. So I guess we can consider them as influencers in a way. I don't know. The other type of executive action that you can take, because we didn't discuss this earlier, is you can use one of the bonuses from your contract cards. Mm -hmm. So if you already have a contract card, and you don't start with any of these, by the way, if you, have, if you acquired a contract card, you'll notice that at the very bottom here, it shows a specific kind of bonus. So in this example, this bonus tells me that I can take a brown or a pink visitor from the plaza and move them straight into my gallery. In order to take the bonus, we have these assistants that we didn't discuss yet in our offices. We start with two of them in our office and the other eight must be uh, hired, hired throughout yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. So in order to take the bonus, I have to take one of my assistants from my office or from a location that I've put out on the board and put the assistant there to use that bonus. Exactly. That assistant is going to stay on this card until this contract gets fulfilled by me selling a piece of art. That's right. So those are the two executive actions you can take on your turn. Spending your tickets or taking the bonus from a, a contract card. Right. Okay. And so moving on to the second action at this location is this is where you go to sell art. So like we mentioned earlier, you have to have a contract of the same type of art that you have in your gallery in order to sell it. But what happens is you're going to have a, a signature to the right side of your board that tells you what the current selling price is for that piece of art. And that's going to be completely determined by where their fame tracker is on their person. So if you, if you can kind of see it, there are the different stars. These are different star thresholds that are going to be correlating with the prices to the right side of your board. Mm -hmm. This so, is basically how you keep track of the value of the, the art. Yes. So when you sell art, you remove the piece of art from your gallery. It goes off to the side of your board because it's still considered yours. It's just yours that you sold, mm -hmm. you get the amount of money for it dictated wherever the signature is. The signature will go back to the artist because each artist can only have two pieces of art out at any given time unsold, including the commissioned work. And so when you return it, then now somebody else can buy it. Right. And that is the sales office. The next location is the media center, which is down here, this section right here. This is kind of like a uh, a place where you go to promote your artists that you're so invested in in the artist colony. It's kind mm -hmm. of like uh, the radio station or something, sure, yeah. your broadcasting network. Mm -hmm. So going here allows you to promote artists and hire assistants. Let's talk about um, promoting artists first. Promoting artists is a good way for you to earn bonuses and resources and for you to increase the fame of an artist who you have artwork for, who you really want to kind of increase the value of their mm -hmm. artwork. So if you notice on all the different um, artist tiles at the very top right here, it shows like a thumbs up and a number on some of them. This number tells you what, what level of media promotion the artist is currently at. Mm -hmm. So going here allows you to increase that, that level of promotion and get the bonus depending on what the new level of promotion is. So for example, our only uh, discovered artist over here, it doesn't even have a level. It's at, it's, he's at level zero. So if I were to go and take this action, I can move the artist to promotion level one by paying one influence. So at the very top here, it tells you how much influence you need to spend in order to promote that artist to that level. So promoting them to level one is just one influence. 
And this is the influence track over here. We haven't talked about it much, but it, it is extremely important mm -hmm. in the Very game. Important. So just know that we start at 10 influence each. And so what you would do when you promote this artist is you would now put the next level uh, in that area. So now you know uh, what level of media promotion he's at. And then you would get the bonus depicted above. So in this example, I would get a ticket of my color choosing. But what promoting artists also does is it increases their fame. So anytime you see this uh, symbol, you're going to see it here and you're going to see it on the actual art tiles. This tells you that you're going to increase the fame of this artist by one plus however many collectors you have in your gallery. Mm -hmm. And so this is a very important rule to remember. You can only have one more art collector in your gallery than the number of art that you've sold in the past, which means at the very beginning of the game, we can only have maximum one white meeple mm -hmm. in our gallery. And if we want to have more than that, we need to sell art. You have to buy art and then sell it. Exactly. To unlock your ability to have more collectors come in. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't clear, the significance of collectors is it helps increase the fame of these artists more quickly because we want to get this cube all the way up to celebrity yep. status if we can. So that is one way of doing it. The other action that you can take here is you can hire assistants. We haven't talked a whole lot about assistants, but like we said earlier, we have two assistants to start the game and we have the opportunity to hire eight, up to eight more. Yep. Taking this action allows you to hire as many of them as you can hold because when you hire them, they're going to come straight to these, this office space that only holds a maximum of four. And the price is shown on the right hand side and it increases depending on how many Depending on hired. which, which uh, assistant it is. And you might also notice that there are also some bonuses associated. So if I were to hire, let's say the top three assistants here, which wouldn't be legal, but if I were to, I would have to pay two, four, five dollars, and I would get one pink ticket and a brown ticket exactly. because all the bonuses and, and costs are cumulative. Right. And then the assistants would come to my office. So what assistants do, assistants are very important. The first thing that they do that we didn't discuss earlier when we talked about kicked out actions is on your turn, when it's time to choose a location, because you have to move to a different location every time, you can leave an assistant behind. So let's say I were here and it's my turn. I'm going to move to a different location, but I want the ability to have a kicked out action in case Naveen goes here. Mm -hmm. So I can move to the new location that I want to go to and then take one of my available assistants and leave them there. So now in a future turn, if Naveen were to take this action, he would kick out my assistant, granting me a kicked out action and then my assistant would come home. We also mentioned that assistants are the ways that you take these contract bonuses. You must put an assistant out on there. So anytime you have those bonuses on the contract cards, you use assistants for them. But assistants you're also going to use in this area here, which um, we'll talk about last. Yeah. So that is this entire location. And also, I just wanna briefly discuss this influence track before mm -hmm. we talk about the last location. Exactly, yeah. So, this influence track is great and it's a headache at the same time <laughs> because it does a few things for you. The first thing it does is it provides you extra cash in case you need it. So if you notice, there are these brown tickers on the tracker. Yep, the bottom side. Yep. If at any time I need an extra buck in order to buy something, buy art or pay for something, I can move my marker down to the next uh, coin figure and use that dollar towards whatever I'm purchasing. Mm -hmm. But I cannot move down to the nearest dollar to just take the cash in hand. Right. It always has to be when you're buying something. At the end of the game, you're also gonna get money depending on where your disc is at the time. Mm -hmm. The next thing that it does is it provides you with these fame thresholds. So fame is really important and the fame thresholds are the pink boxes mm -hmm. with the star on top. Because what that does is anytime you take an action that increases an artist's fame, so whether it's promoting the artist or purchasing a piece of art from them, you can go down to the last fame marker to increase it an additional point. So obviously that kind of move would be advantageous if you're say like two above like another threshold that I could say, I'm going to go down mm -hmm. to the nearest fame marker to increase by one more point. Exactly. The other thing that fame does is during kicked out actions. We didn't discuss what kicked out actions are, but this is a good time to do so. So, Say Naveen kicks me out and I'm here now. Naveen takes his entire action and now I get to take my kicked out action. You have two actions to choose from. You can either take one of the two executive actions that we discussed earlier, which were the spending of the tickets or taking the bonus on the contracts, mm -hmm. 
or you can take one of the actions of the location, which is huge because this is a way for you to take more actions in the game. But in order to do so, you have to go down to the next fame threshold on this influence track to take a location action. Right. So it's expensive potentially, but uh, really, really worth it if, like I said, you're just like one above that fame threshold. Yeah, hanging out in the margins is big. Yeah, hanging out in the margins is a good, good thing to do. So obviously, influence is very important. So we already discussed one of the big ways of gaining more influence, which is that symbol that looks like this that you can see on some of the contract cards and some of the bonuses. Mm -hmm. But another way of gaining influence is by going to this location, which is our last location on the map. So this location is called the International Market. Um, same thing, two different actions. And the actions that you can take here are earning reputation, which is this that has to do with the top half of this section, or by participating in the auction, which is the bottom half of the section. So basically what the top section of the board here allows you to do is it allows you to earn reputation. And reputation is these little tiles that you're gonna be taking and putting onto your board in one of the six areas here. So it looks like you, only, you can only have six of these tiles max. Yes, I think so. Yeah. And what these do is it gives you end game scoring. It's an end game scoring condition that is specific to you. It'll either give you a money or influence or both because you're gonna cash out influence and money and whoever has the most money wins. Exactly. So that's what these do. At the bottom section here is an auction. So going here requires you to spend money for a bonus. And at the end of the game, whoever spent the most money in this auction is going to earn this piece of art, which is the work of international renown. In higher player counts, there are more pieces of art than just this one, but because it's a two player game, we're we only have one to bid on. It's one minus the number of players. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also because it's a two player game, this entire middle column is not going to be used. So keep that in mind. In higher player counts, the entire grid is used. Yep. So there'll be more chits out here and just more access. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the way to read this whole entire section is, as you can see, it's divided into three columns. At the very, very top here, it tells you a requirement that you have to have in your lobby in order to take those actions. Mm -hmm. So in order to take any of the spots in the first column, you have to have at least one visitor in your lobby. Yeah. That's what that kind of shows you. And this you. is one visitor of any type. If you can't see it, there's uh, it's kind of like a Neapolitan ice cream here. <laughs> uh, brown, white, and pink. Right? And it's like dashed lines because it's indicating the lobby. Mm -hmm. um, in order to take the actions in the third column... You must have at least one collector, the white meeple, and either one brown or one pink meeple with it. In the in your lobby. In the lobby. That hence the dashed line. The dashed line. <laughs> they um, thought of everything. They did. <laughs> Furthermore, in this top section, in order to take one of the reputation tiles, and if it's not clear, only one person can can occupy any of these spaces mm -hmm. for the entire game. Right. In order for you to be eligible for these reputation tiles, you have to have acquired at some point the corresponding type of work of art yep. for that row. So it could either be in your gallery or previously sold. sold. That's why you hang on to those pieces of art. Off One of the side. reasons mm -hmm. why. One of the reasons. In addition, anytime you gain any of these tiles and put it here, you have to kick out a visitor from your lobby. That is why you need to have a visitor in your lobby in the first place exactly, <laughs> to yeah. be able to kick them out. Going to any of these columns gives you the, the amount of influence listed at the top. So rightmost column gets you one influence, influence. leftmost column gives you three. And lastly, the very bottom section here, like I said, is an auction, so you have to pay money to go there. And the amount of money you have to pay is listed on the left-hand side. So at the top row is only one buck, then three dollars, and then six dollars for this bottom row. And it's the same thing, you don't get a reputation tile like you do in the top section, but you put your meeple on whatever that corresponding um, square is that you're taking, and you get the, the bonus immediately. Mm -hmm. So this is getting influence, that's getting money, etc. And then at the very, very end of the game, we are going to score points depending on majorities for each of these columns. That's what the bottom thing here shows. So whoever ha has the majority of meeples in this column is going to get $15, second most is $10, $6, etc. So scoring happens twice in this game. You're going to have intermediate scoring that happens once one of these ticket supplies runs out. Uh, then you're basically going to get money depending on the brown and white meeples that you have in your gallery and you get influence depending on the pink and white in your gallery. And then the game will end once two of these three conditions are met. The three conditions are all of the tickets are completely gone from the box office, there are no more meeples in the bag, and two of these artists have become celebrities. Once two out of the three criteria have been met, 
then we finish the round, play one more round without doing any kicked out actions, and then the game will end. And at the very top right hand corner here, it shows the scoring conditions that you have to go in order. And you're going to try to earn money for these because whoever has the most money at the end of the game wins. Mm -hmm. And the last two scoring conditions is the last thing that we didn't go over. We each also have these secret, of course, right? These secret end game hidden. scoring cards that are hidden. One of them is an art dealer card and the other is a curator card. This is an example of two that we're not using in the game, which is fine because neither of us have memorized the combinations. Speak is for yourself. They give you oh. money depending on a set collection. So the white card is for artwork that's still in your gallery. So if I have a complete set of like a, photograph, a photograph, a sculpture, and a painting, then I will get $10. And that can game. also include if you were the winner of the renowned art. Yes, that is the, that's one of the, the purposes of winning the renowned art, mm -hmm. for completing these sets. And the darker card is for sold pieces of art. This is the art dealer. So that's why you want, when you sell the art, you need to keep it off to the side of the, the table so that you can keep track of what you've sold to score points for this. And you can score all of them if you're mm -hmm. able to. Yep. And that's it. That is the entire that's game. The game yeah. I said I would do a brief overview, but there you go again. Uh, that's the entire game. Overachieving. There's still some specifics we didn't discuss, but we'll we'll, we'll talk, talk through our actions yeah, as we exactly. play. So let's clean up uh, what we need to. So this goes back. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep my money over here. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna keep a little buffer, so I don't embezzle. Okay. What buffer? So my money is here. Oh, I see. The pool of money is here. Okay. And I have a nice little it. buffer. There, I'll do the same. Okay, because uh, I'm going to need this space for... Um, for all the art that you're for selling? all the art I'm buying and selling <laughs> and tracking. Okay, so we're going to see who goes first because there's a tiny, tiny bit of setup. Ready? Oh, oh, wow. Do I want to go first? I don't know. Uh -oh. This is the first time it's not me in a long time. Okay, now that we determined who goes first, in reverse turn order, you're supposed to, s to select your starting location. And if you notice, we put a reputation tile out at each location. So I'm going to select this as my starting location, mm -hmm. this area. Mm -hmm. And I would take this reputation tile, and it's going to go in my um, slot here for the third uh, art location. Yep. This isn't actually go to me yet. If I am able to collect three pieces of art and basically cover up this tile, then I would acquire it and it would go in one of my six areas here. And so if you were to, if you have two pieces of art and you were to sell one, that, then you don't put that third one there if right. you were to acquire it. Now you have to refill into the conveyor belt. Yeah, so it's, it's quite possible that you can go the entire game without actually acquiring this mm -hmm. tile. But that's my starting bonus, and I've chosen my starting location. I see that you have. Um, <laughs> I will go here. Okay. And I'll take this chip. Uh, this chip, um, it looks like I get one influence and three money for every piece of art that I sell mm -hmm. in this game. So it looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> And I get uh, one influence and three money for every sculpture that I've acquired. Acquired, sold, uh, all of it. Mm. And these two will go bye-bye. Goodbye. And now we will begin. So starting with you. Me. Where would you like to go? You have to move to a different location. I must. You must. And as you can see, Naveen starts with a uh, pink. Yeah, this was random from the bag. Evil. I start with a VIP and Monique starts with a financier. Investor. Investor. <laughs> All right, so Finance, yeah. I'm going to go here. Of course. And I'm going to leave a guy behind. Why not? No penalty for doing that. And I am going to discover someone. But who? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and discover... Yes, I will discover this guy right here. So the blue uh, painter is what I'm going to discover. So this is the first time we're going to do it. So what happens is we flip this over. And we put the white cube on its starting value, which is five right here. Okay, so that's any art right now purchased by this person is going to be five bucks. That's its initial fame. Initial fame. I get this uh, little bonus chip, which I'll resolve in just a second. And I also take one of these artist signature tokens and I place it down here. Now I cannot have a stack of these. I can only have one. Yes, you can only have one art commission so, at any given time. So I've just discovered this artist. He's a no-namer. So for now, he's going to give me credit. So if in the future this fame has boosted up, I can still buy it at the base price of five because I'm the person that brought him into the light. Okay, yeah. thematically. He's not a no namer. He's, he's a, a one namer. He's a one namer, actually. So this right here, this little bonus, uh, basically I look in the plaza and I get to take one of these and put them right directly into my gallery. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this little chit. This does not go here, that's not the same thing. And I will take a financier and I'll put the financier. I'm sorry, not the financier, an investor. <laughs> put the investor right in there. And really? That is my turn. I don't think there's anything else I do. Okay, so it's my turn. I am going to move my person over here. I'm gonna kick out Naveen. And I'm gonna leave an assistant behind yeah. in that location. And then now I'm going to take this location action, but I'm gonna do the second one, which is actually purchasing art. Mm. So interesting turn of events, isn't it? No. <laughs> I'm no. going to purchase art from this artist. Sculptures, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the base cost is what? Two? Three. That's three dollars. Three bucks. You can only so buy one. So I'm going to pay the cost of the artwork, which is three bucks. So here's my three. Goodbye. And then I I'm going to take the topmost tile, which is a sculpture, which is this one. Any visitors that are on top of the tile are going to go into the plaza. That's how we get more. Uh -huh. And then this piece of art is going to come to my board. It also says a few things on the tile, if you look closely. It tells you how much fame it's going to go up when purchasing, and it tells you the base plus however many number collectors you have in your gallery. So this one says it goes up zero plus one collector that I have in my per collector in my gallery, and I don't have any. So this, this artist is actually not going to go up any fame. Oh, no. But I also get a ticket. It looks like a ticket of my choice, pink, mm -hmm. brown, or white. So I'm going to take a pink ticket. And then this uh, piece of art is going to go in my gallery. And we're going to get, get more visitors here equal to over many number of tickets yes. are showing. So we take from the bag mm -hmm. and I randomly grab two. So the number of tickets you see on the card tells you how many visitors that's kind of not the most intuitive thing there but <laughs> that's just once you know the rules that's what you do so yes. okay we got two two brown brown visitors um my peeps okay and now i because i bought a piece of art i'm going to take one of the signatures and it's going to go on the one star threshold because that's currently what it's at yep. so right now if i were to sell i would sell it for five dollars which is two dollar profit yeah you bought it for three i did yeah and now that that location action is done, I'm going to take an executive action and I'm going to turn in my ticket to move one of the yep. pink meeples into my lobby. In the lobby. Uh, and now that I'm done, Naveen can now decide if he wants to take a kicked out action. Well, a kicked out action would be spending influence down to the next one. I don't think I want to do that. Or take an executive action, which would be moving a visitor with tickets. I don't have tickets and I don't have a contract. So pretty much his only kicked no. out action... Uh, option was, was to this, take a location action which would drop me by all dropping. the way down on the fame track which i am gonna say no to as of right now so because i'm not going to be taking a kicked out action i take my pawn and i'm supposed to move back to my gallery it happens to be my turn so now we're going to take the pawn and i'm going to move it over here so we're going to go into this section i'm kicking monique's little worker over there uh which is good for you you kicked my worker kicked just it. kicked it Get him over here. or her so I'm going to go ahead and take this contract. So I'm doing this action, taking this contract, and I'm going to place it right on over here, over this slot. So when I place over, I get a brown ticket. Hey, please have a brown ticket. Yes. You know, actually, I'm going to place it over the pink. I'm going to take a pink ticket. Okay. Yes, I think that's a smarter move. Um, and then I will take an executive action. So I'm going to spend the pink to go ahead and this goes out of the game, by the way, when you spend it, mm -hmm. to go ahead and move uh, this person right here into my gallery. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the contract gets refilled. Contract does get refilled. And uh -huh. there it is, cubism. <laughs> it's an ab abstract <laughs> art. And would you like to take a kicked out action, Monique? Thinking about it. So pretty much the only option for my kicked out action would be to spend all the way down to the five. It's literally the same situation you put me in. A location action. I didn't put you in that. You put yourself in that situation. This is a 60 40 you. What? <laughs> you know what? I am going to do it. This is. So you're going to go all the way down here. This is the beginning of the game, but we're the already same monster. starting out risky. So I went down to the nearest fame marker in order to take a location action, and I'm going to take a contract. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to, I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to get a pink ticket. That's, and then that gets refilled. 
That does get refilled, so this guy's done. Yep, and I cannot take any other action because that was already right there. a location action. Yes. That's it. Very good. So now it's my turn. I think what I'm going to do is just go right back over here mm. and kick out Naveen. I'm going to leave an assistant right there. And before I take my action, I'm going to uh, take this action, which allows me to... This take, I'm going to take an executive action mm -hmm. by taking my bonus, which I believe lets me take a contract. Yep. Which you're already there, so yeah. you're going to do something else, I think. Okay, I'm going to take this contract. The art contract. Right yes, there. and I'm going to put it here to our brown ticket. Put it there. So that was my executive action. Executive action was doing this. And then now I'm going to take my location action, which is... Oh, can you refill the contract, please? Sure. Now I'm going to take my location action, which is selling my work of art. So I'm going to sell this sculpture. Um, and so let it let us do let us do the order of operations. So first thing that happens is I get money equal to wherever my signature is on the right side over here. And right now I only have one, but throughout the game you might have multiple. So this one is says I have five dollars. Yep, I'm selling bucks. this piece of art five bucks. Thank you. And then this piece of artwork goes off to the side. Because it is, or I guess I can just like, like that. that. Yeah. Um, it is no longer in my gallery. This gets returned uh, over here. Mm -hmm. And I flip over the contract card. So my assistant gets returned back to me. And I flip it over because typically if you have somebody in your gallery, you're supposed to kick them out. Kick one person out. But this is the one area of this game that that, that is an exception. You don't have to have a person in your gallery to sell. So because I didn't kick anyone out of my gallery, I get to orient it whichever way I'd like. So I'll do it like this. Okay, that is all. And I started my turn by taking an executive action. So I can no longer take any more executive actions. Took my location, location action and now it's your turn. If you'd like to take a kicked out action. I will take a kicked out action. So I'm gonna move this um, assistant and place it onto this contract card. And what this one particularly does is it allows me to take either a brown or a pink visitor and put them directly into my plaza. So I'm gonna put the into pink- Into his gallery. I'm sorry, into the gallery, not which, the plaza, which is this one right over here. Which and is even better. Even better, yeah. So that is the end of that. You are racking up some, uh, some visitors here. So that was the end of that. So I go back to here because I was kicked out and now it's my turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go from my gallery here into this area here, this, what is this? Ah, broadcasting? media promotion. Media pro promotion, there you go. So I'm gonna take the uh, action on the far left, which is to promote. So I'm gonna promote the artist that I had. By the way, because you kicked out your assistant. Your they assistant just go directly back. Back to the yeah, office. Yeah, you this can't is... kick yourself out. Right. Uh, and so I'm gonna promote the artist that I had commissioned, uh, which is the painter. And I'm gonna move it up from its base one to a two. So it's gonna cost me Two influence to do that, or two fame to do that. Oh, two influence. Sorry, two influence to do that. And what that does is it moves me up one tick, correct? Puts the two down. And the reason why I go up one tick is because it's one fame plus one collector that you have in your gallery. We have zero in here. Mm -hmm. So zero plus one is one. That's why I went from five to six. Had I had one other, then we'd go up to seven. Um, and then now, I get the bonus that's depicted here. And what I get is two influence per every pink and one for every one white, which I don't have any. So I get an additional four. So it goes back one, two, three, four. Very nice. Okay. And I believe that is that. And I don't have any other executive actions to do because I don't have any tickets and my contract is occupied. All right. That's it. Okay, so my turn, I'm going to go back here to the, the artist colony yep. so kicking this person out person out they're just gonna go back home it must be done and um before i take my action i'm actually going to use this bonus so this is your executive this action. is my executive action okay. so i'm gonna put uh an assistant here so that i've used it and this per this lets me take a, a person from the bag random right oh is it random i don't know that's a good question. It says choose. Choose. Choose any visitor from the bag and place them in your gallery. That's nice. But the gallery collector limit still Do you know applies. what you want? I want a white one. White one. You got it. I would like a collector, please. 
Makes sense because there's none on the board. Yes. I'll find you one. I was trying to look for a collector. This is really the only yeah. way to get one right now. Yeah. Thank you. The other so way this... to get them out onto the board is by discovering one of these red artists. Or if they happen to, to go on these right. these tiles. Which is them. not really happening. So now I have my collector. Go straight into my gallery. Very nice. Nice. Very and good. I'm going to uh, purchase art. Mm. I'm going to purchase art from the person who I had who I had purchased from earlier. I think. Really? Yes. Interesting. Why? You don't have the contract for it. That's okay. You don't have to have the contract mm -hmm. to purchase, nope. only to sell. So I will um, purchase this piece of art for $3. So can I have change, please? $2 change. $2 change. Thank you. And then and now I get my artwork, which is this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send these visitors to the plaza. I grab this piece of um, art and it says, my the fame of that artist increases by one plus the number of collectors I have in mm -hmm. my gallery. Mm -hmm. So I have one now. So that's going to increase by two. Very nice. Moving it to the next threshold, uh, which is two green stars. I see. I'm going to take my signature and put it there. So now if I go to sell it, I'll, it'll sell for eight. I bought it for three, it can sell for eight. So small gains, but still gains nonetheless, right? Yeah. And then now I get two tickets of different colors. So... <laughs> There's Brown is pretty popular. Well, it is going to be brown for one. And then... I will take white. Okay. This diversity? Is, yeah, a little bit of diversity. Okay. Put that right there. And now we get two visitors on this yeah, tile. Because there are... And that's it. Because I took my executive action by taking that bonus. Okay, here we go. And I took my location action. Perfect. And I left from here, right? Uh, what's that? Yes. You so I'm going to leave an assistant behind. Okay. Finished? Yep. All right. So I'm going to go over here. Are you kicking me out? I have to. <laughs> Can't see going back and forth right there. And now, what are we doing over here? We are going to buy do? art. Okay. I will do what you just did, Monique. So I will I'll buy art from the artist that you have been touting. Okay. So I'm going to pay the cost, which is five, because that's where this cube is located right here. Um, I get one of these little signature tiles to show where I go. So I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, I'm going to take the art tile. These two visitors go to the center gallery here. And this, we're gonna up the fame. It is two plus any collectors I have. I have no collectors, so the fame is actually gonna go up one, two. So my little signature token is gonna go on the double green star location, just where, where Monique is, right over there. Would you like to spend would you like to go down to the next threshold to bump it up to that three green stars? I will not do that. Wow. I will let you do that. Well. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, and then I get two tickets of not like um, colors. <laughs> I'm going to take white. Of colors that are unlike the other? Yes. Not, <laughs> not unlike colors and brown since there's so much brown out there. Um, and that's that for that portion right there. Now and one visitor gets put right one there. One visitor gets put because there's one ticket showing. Yep. Okay. And we have another brown. Hey, they're, hey. They're everywhere. Would you like to take an executive action? I will take an executive action. So I'm gonna spend my white ticket to bring this guy a little closer. And then I will spend my brown ticket to bring one of these guys a little closer. Might as well. Okay. Done? Uh, I think that's the end of that. So I've been kicked out, so I'm going to take um, an executive action for doing so, and I'm going to uh, spend some tickets here. So I'm going to spend my one pink ticket. Oh, where did you put your tickets? Uh, it's just off to the side over here. So I think we've accidentally put back a couple tickets. That's wrong. Yes. So Naveen put back this white one. And that goes out. out of the game, yeah. And I think I had put back uh, a pink ticket, so that's going to go out okay. too. Yeah. So we need to keep these uh Yeah, so that's one even. of the uh, end of game condition yes right that's really really important yeah okay so now i'm going to take my executive action or my kicked out action technically but mm -hmm. it's an executive action i'm going to uh spend a pink ticket to move this pink meeple into, into my gallery yeah, and i'm going to spend both of these brown tickets nice to move one from the plaza one, all the way in two all the way in nice so now i have some some friends <laughs> yeah very good and that was my kicked out action so now it's my turn Okay, for my turn, I'm going to go here, okay. and I'm going to do the higher assistance um, action. Okay. And so you have four empty spots, you can do up to four. Yes. So I think I will do 
all four. So that's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. This wow. might be a huge mistake because that is so much money. But that's eight dollars. Workers working. I'm going to move all four of them here. Yes. And so you get a get set me... of bonuses. So yes. From top to bottom. So I get a brown ticket. Okay. A pink, pink ticket. ticket. And um, you get uh, influence. I get to take influence. So yeah. it's going to be two influence for this pink person and one influence for the white. So three. So three. One, two, three. Okay, there you are. And that's all for those bonuses. And now I can take an executive, executive action. action. Yep. So I think for fear of that person returning to me, I'm going to oh, okay, yeah. take this bonus and just get three more influence. Nice. One, two, three. There you go. You're right in the margins. Yes, that was the, that was the goal. So that's my turn. I liked it. Okay, I'm going to go to the international market over here, and I'm going to take the reputation action, not the auction. And in my lobby, I have one collector and one um, investor. investor. So I'm going to look at this uh, column over here. And the only one that I am eligible for is a sculpture. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this right over here. So let me place one of my assistants over here. And I get one fame. One reputation. One reputation. One influence. Influence, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All There's the above. so many terms. All of the above. And I take the renown cube and I'm going to place. <laughs> what you know, are we saying? What is this called again? It's a reputation tile. Reputation. And I'm going to take this reputation tile and place it on one of these six locations here. Uh, so, what I'll do is I will take two tickets that are not like. And I'm going to take one white and one brown. <laughs> there we go like that there you go and because i did this action somebody has to get kicked out of my lobby unfortunately i'm going to keep the collector and send that gentleman out and that is the end of that action so i'm going to take my executive action which is using um tokens or tickets to bring people in so i got my collector to go in and that's going to go out of the game and this brown ticket i'm going to bring the guy right on back <laughs> and he goes out of the game there we go for my action, I'm going to go here to that look. It's the artist colony, and I'm going to leave this assistant behind. So I'm not, now I've got assistants in every They're corner. They're everywhere. Yeah, i got to go hire some. I've got spies <laughs> lurking. Okay. Um, I only have a buck. Nothing <laughs> costs a buck. So it looks like we're going to be discovering an artist. We haven't uh, discovered an artist in a very long like, time. What are you going to do? Okay. So... I am going to discover, actually, before I discover anyone, I'm going to spend some tickets. I'm going to use an executive action to spend these two tickets, one pink and one brown. And one brown is going to go in, one pink is going to go into my lobby. Into your lair. Into my lair. And now I'm going to discover this artist. Really? This artist is a photographer. It's going to get us a collector out into the plaza. So what's going to happen is I'm going to boot this collector into the plaza. Um, I get to flip over this tile. This is a photographer. And uh, the starting cube or the starting value of the art is f at $5. Mm -hmm. I get a commissioned art a signature that's going to go in my commission space here. And then I take the bonus from what was shown. And the bonus is going to be money. Uh, it's two dollars per brown and one dollar per white, so, so I get five, five dollars. Very this good. Goes away. This Thank goes you. Out of the game. And I already did my your executive my action. executive action, so yeah. that that Getting completes that my turn. There. Very good, Monique. Very thank good. <laughs> I think it was just okay, but thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna kick you out over there. <gasps> I've been kicked. You've been kicked. And I am going to, so we didn't talk about this earlier, but I can play, if I'm not satisfied with these four, I can place a f four new cards and they're going to go right on top of these. So I'm going to do that. Yes. Something good. It doesn't replace them, but once one gets taken from the top row, it unveils the bottom Ooh. row. If that makes and sense. Four. Okay. That looks pretty good. And so now I can take the action, which is gaining a contract. So I'm going to take a contract and I'm going to take this one right over here, revealing that one. Also, after 
review after putting a whole new row on top if he feels like he doesn't want to take any of them he doesn't have to mm -hmm. it's not advised to do that <laughs> but just know that that's optional it is an contract. option yeah so i'm going to take this one right here and place it over my rainbow colored ticket okay and i'm going to take a white ticket and then i'm going to take my executive action and i'm going to go ahead and spend said white ticket to move the collector just a little bit closer mm. And that's that. I am going to take a location action. So I'm going to spend all this influence down to the next uh, fame marker to take the location action up there since I was kicked out. And I'm going to grab a contract. Can you please pass me the abstract art? The cube. The cube. Cubism. Okay. It's abstract art. For any abstract artists out there, we think abstract art is wonderful. <laughs> it's not cubism. So I'm going to put this there. Cubes. And uh, this is going to get me a ticket. So I'm going to take a white ticket. We might have to do something shady in a second. And this uh, assistant comes back to me. Okay, so on my turn, I'm gonna do something. So I'm gonna move to this location, which is the international market. I'm gonna leave an assistant behind, right there. And then um, I can only, I'm gonna participate in the auction, but I can only participate in the first column because I only have one person in my lobby. And I think I'm going to take this spot right here. So I have to spend a buck to go here. So this is where order of events is important. So I'm going based off of the rules, which I have right here as a player aid. So it says that I have to meet the victory condition of the column, which I did. I gain influence based on the column. So that's three points of influence. So one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then I pay. So that's important because I'm actually going to just pay using my influence track. Mm -hmm. I go down to the nearest money marker to spend that one buck that's required of that row. Um, I like it. Yeah. And then I moved the assistant, so I did that a little bit early. But other than that, I now received the bonus of the space. So that just gets me a ticket of my choice. And of course, I'm going to take a white ticket because these um, the shade. collectors are really hard to come by. I'm so sorry. But for my executive action, I'm going to spend all three of my tickets to move the collector out of Naveen's lobby to the plaza for one, into my lobby for two, and then into my gallery for three. And I can have that, the extra collector in my gallery because I've sold one piece of art. Because the collectors are one plus the amount of art that you've sold. So can you put those over there? Terrible. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. They're so hard to come by for some reason. I feel like... Collectors aren't usually this hard to find, but this game they are. And hmm. I'm not kicking out anybody from my lobby because I wasn't I didn't take a reputation tile, just for the record. That's only if you put a reputation tile here. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to this area here. I'm gonna do a kicked out action for Monique. And I'm going to purchase art. And I'm gonna buy it from the painter that I had commissioned a long, long time ago. So uh, we're gonna buy this art here. And so the cost for me is the base cost because I commissioned it. Even though it's at six, I'm only paying five. Um, so I'm going to pay five. So I'm going to pay one here, two, three, four, five. So that leaves me with a dollar left over. Okay. And I take this art right here. This visitor goes to the plaza. And the fame is going to go up for this artist by zero plus one collector that I have here. So this is going to go from there to there. And this art comes to me after I get a pink ticket. Ah. And then this is going to flip over and come on over here. And then yes. we are at two stars. So this chit is the signature token is going to go to this location right over here. Okay. And I believe that is it for that. And then I will spend a, oh, sorry. Yes, I'm supposed to refill this right here. So uh, one. One visitor. Visitor, because there's one ticket showing. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, another brown. Oh, all these okay. brown. We're not going to have any brown okay. visitors uh, later on in the game. And I will do, do the executive action, which is spinning the pink ticket just to get this guy a little closer to home. Okay. And nice. that's it. Uh, so I can take a kicked out action. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to take any of these executive actions is the question. Or do I just want to take a location action? I mean, this is a kind of a good time. Let's see. I can't discover an artist because I already have a commissioned artwork here. So if I were to take a location action, I would only be able to purchase art. 
and I only have six dollars. So, okay, I am going to take uh, the kicked out action that I'm going to take is I'm going to take location action. So I have to go all the way down to this mm -hmm. fame threshold. I don't know if this is a mistake. So you're gonna buy. And you I'm cannot actually, discover. I can't discover an artist because I already have a commissioned uh, art here. So what do you buy? So I'm going to purchase my commission. Okay. Because I only have six dollars, so I, that's the only thing I can really afford. It'll cost you five bucks. So it's gonna. I'm gonna purchase my uh, my photograph from this photographer, this lovely photographer. It's gonna cost me five dollars. So that goes there. This uh, photograph is gonna come to me. Collector goes into the plaza, and so this is gonna come to me. The fame will go up zero plus the number of collectors I have in my gallery, two. which is two. So it's going to go up one, two. And then I get a brown ticket. Yep. Look at that now. This is going to go right there in my second slot. Ah, this is, I love how this is, this works. It's so mm -hmm. cute. And then that signature token is going to go on the two star threshold because that is where, where we have surpassed oh, so good. far. And then we're going to get a visitor on here. Can I have a visitor from the bag, please? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, another, another brown one. Um, yes. And then I am going to take back my assistant. And now it's my turn. Now it's your actual turn. Now it's yeah. my actual yeah. turn. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the artist colony as okay. my actual action. Kicking out Naveen, and I'm going to leave my assistant there. Uh, and here I'm going to discover an artist. Now that I've freed up my commission spot, I have space for another commission. So, so before I take my action, which is going to be discovering an artist, I'm going to take an executive action, which is um, taking this bonus. So I use my assistant, and I'm going to take this bonus, which allows me to take one of the one of the meeples from the plaza and move them directly into my gallery. So let's get this brown. It has to be brown or pink. So. Uh, that got moved into there. And now I'm going to discover this artist here. So let's move this off. And this is going to be a collector. Finally, more collectors into the plaza. And now we flip this person over. And this person is an abstract artist. Their starting uh, cube value starts at 8. And then I get a signature for my commission spot right there. And then I am going to get the bonus on the bonus tile, which is money, $2 per brown and $1 per white uh, meeple. So I have two, four, six, seven, eight dollars. This goes off to the side. Six, seven, eight. Thank you so much. There you go. Um, and I believe that's it because I took my executive action. I took the location action. And now Naveen can decide if he wants to take a kicked out action. Um, yeah, I will take a kicked out action. So I'm going to move down. And I'm gonna discover an artist. Ooh. Since I have a spot. And let's go ahead. We're just discovering all these artists now. So I'll be discovering this artist. So the sculpture artist that's red. So this the is sculptist. Gonna, this one's gonna come over here. I'm gonna get this little bonus and I'm gonna take the signature. So let's flip this up. So this is gonna start at 10, 10 which is gonna be very expensive. But you're already at three. It's already a threshold of three green stars. Yes. So it's already going to be worth eleven dollars. So you'll profit a so buck. I get two no tickets what. of not like type, and so I will take. I'll take a white, and I will take a brown. Very good. That's it. So technically, you go back home. Down. Yep. But now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Okay, so... What are you going to do? With a dollar, I can't do much. So it might be time to finally sell something. Oh. It might be time. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to go here and do some promotions. We're going to kick out Monique's little character there. And I'm going to do promotion of the painter. The painter that I've commissioned a long time ago. So they are a two and we need to go to a three. So it's gonna cost me one, two, three in order to do this. Um, this is gonna go and take the place of this spot right here. And the amount that we're gonna go up is gonna be one plus every one that I have. So it's gonna go up two. So it's gonna go from a seven to a nine, putting us in the three star category. So the painter is now here. And then um, I get 
as a bonus, two tickets of not like type color. And I will take a white and I will take a, let's go brown, white and brown. And then I will use one of those brown that I just got in to move this character into there. <laughs> character. Character. Such a character, that. Character. Investor. And I think I did everything right there. Do you, do you agree with all that? I, I got, I paid the three. I took the two. We went up two notch. Took two different types of tickets and I did my executive action. I don't think there was anything else. And the cube moved up and I moved my... I think that's it. I think that's everything, right? For me, um, I am going to take an executive action and it's just going to be spending this ticket to move um, an investor into closer. my lobby. Yeah. And this assistant, wonderful assistant, comes home. I do apologize. One of these white tickets I was going to spend to bring this in. Sure. Yeah. I can't bring them all the way in, even though I have enough because I haven't sold a piece of art. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for my action, I am going to, or for my next location, I guess, I'm going to go here to the um, international market. I can't kick out my assistant, so it's going to come back home. And I left one behind. So here, I think it's time to take a reputation tile. And I can only take reputation tiles from the first column because I don't have a collector in my plaza. Yeah, they don't have that. I don't have that. So, and I've only, actually, I, I now have sculptures and, and I have a sculpture and a photograph yep. that I've acquired. So I have access to the second and third row. This reputation tile looks like you get one influence and $2 for every artist, um, artist that has hit 15 fame and above. And the one after that is for pink, for pink people. Do you have to be involved with that artist? No, no, no. It's just, just for any, any artist. Any artist. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to take the, this one, the pink, the pink one, and then I'm going to put an assistant in its place. There yonder. Okay. There yonder. Uh huh. And for taking this, I put it in one of these six spots. So, so I will put it here, which is going to give me two tickets that are not the same. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to take a pink and a white. Uh, I also get three influence yep. for, for taking that action. So one, two, three. And I must kick somebody out of my lobby for taking this action. So I will kick this person Brown. out of my lobby. And and by the way, this reputation tile is going to give me one influence and $2 at the end of the game for every um, VIP that I have in my so gallery. Every pink, every pink, pink person. Uh, and so for my executive action, I'm going to spend this pink ticket to bring uh, my pink person into Makes the gallery. Sense. And I believe that is all. Okay, so my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's time to make some money. I've been too poor this whole game. So I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna sell the newly promoted artist, which was the painter. So I'm gonna sell using this contract um, and this piece of art. And what we do is we combine the two. This one's being sold, so it's over here. The contract is flipped upside down uh, after I get the money. So I get 11 bucks. That's the tier that we're on here. So this is gonna go back and I get 11 bucks. Five, 10, 11. And then depending on who I kick out of my lobby, that's uh, basically- No, your gallery. I'm sorry, out of my gallery. That's uh, that's who, which way I orient this. I'm gonna probably kick out a VIP. They're gonna walk away with that piece of art and this is gonna flip <laughs> up like this. This one comes back to my workbench right here. Mm -hmm. And so now I have the ability to, so I'll take this executive action, which is taking that newly acquired Meeple that was stuck on a contract and put him right back on. Oh, you're and, taking and, a bonus? And taking bonus. So I get um, influence, influence right? based off of this. Unfortunately, I sent the pink guy out. So it's one, two, three. So I go one, two, three. So I'm not in the margins, which is what would have been ideal. But it is what it is. That's, and that's it. That's it. All right. I'm going to um, I'm gonna go here, back to the artist colony. I can't kick myself out. I'm going to leave this person over there. OK. And so for my action at this location, I'm going to purchase a work of art. And I have I have some money here. I do have my commission, but I think maybe it's time to invest in a new type of art. 
So let's go painting. I do have this contract here that's just kind of sitting there. So the only painting painter that's been discovered is this one, and it's going to come at a cost at nine of nine dollars. So here's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that is all my money. Okay, nine bucks. Nine bucks. Oh, sorry. There you go. So I get this topmost uh, piece of art. So this person's going to go into the plaza. I get this, and the the artist's fame is going to go up zero plus two. Mm -hmm. I have two uh, collectors in there, so one, two, and this art goes into my third slot. Yay! And the whole purpose of this was so that I can access this reputation tile, which gives me one influence and three dollars for every uh, sculpture that I've acquired at all during the game. But we'll do this last. So let's finish this. Um, oh, sorry. I also get a brown ticket. Mm -hmm. So there goes that brown ticket. And now it can go face down. Now it can go face down. Uh, this needs a it two, needs two, two visitors. visitors. Uh, two pink can go out there. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, no, they're going to go over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My brain is gone. Bye bye, brain. Mm -hmm. And now I get a signature of this painter. And it's going to go on the three green star three. threshold because that's where where uh, I'm going to sell it at. Mm -hmm. And then I'm supposed to get an executive action, but I don't think I'm going to take one uh, because I get this reputation tile. And since I don't have any visitors in my lobby, I won't have to kick out any if I were to put it down now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. You know, before I actually end my turn completely, um, when I purchased that, because I purchased a piece of art here, right? Mm -hmm. When I purchased that art, I increased the, the person's fame depending on what it said on the back of the tile. Whenever you increase fame, you can actually go down to the next fame threshold to increase it more. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring my chit all the way down to this fame threshold to increase it by one more so okay. that it would get me to that one gold star. Nice. Gold so star. that's a blue painting to the one gold star. So now it's worth $14. I bought it for nine and it's going to be worth, it's going to sell for 14. And now I'm, I am going to put this down here. So it's going to get me influence and it's a two, four, five, six. Yep, so you're at 16. So it'll get me right there, right, the right where I want to be. Very, very good. And now that ends my turn. And now I don't kick out anybody, like I said, because I didn't have anybody in my lobby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I need to go hire some assistants because this is kind of ridiculous what you're doing with these guys. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to buy, let's see, I'm going to get two assistants. I'm going to hire two of them. So it's going to cost me one, two, three. So there, put five back, get two back. These two guys are going to come out onto this place here. I get one brown ticket for doing that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and get reputation by putting this one down. So I'm, I'm going to go, well, let's not do that actually. Let's, Influence. yeah, well, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to spend tickets actually. So I'm going to discard these two to go one, two nice. into there. And do I want to do this one? You know what? I am not going to move this one in. No, no, I'm not going to move it in. So my executive action was spending tickets. Okay. Uh, and then now it's back to me. I'm going to go to this location. I don't have any more assistance and I don't want to move that one. So I will just forgo this. Time to sell? Yes, it's time to sell. So now that I've so you can sell one. hit that three, I can only sell one. And I'm thinking it'll be this painting. The one you just boosted? Yes, because I don't, I can't buy any more paintings. Or sorry, I can't buy any more art without... Somebody being famous or celebrity. Yeah, yeah, this because it's reserved for a, a celebrity. So I need to make space. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sell this painting. And I have this uh, painting contract here. So it's going to bump my assistant back to the office. And if I look over here, okay. my painting is selling for $14. 14. Okay. So 14. Thank you. I'm sorry. This is my $14. I'm going to take this off. It's going to be put over here where all my sold paintings are. I need to kick somebody out of my gallery. And depending on who I kick out, this is going to flip over. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it's going to be a um, the brown person is going to go. The investor Investors. is going to the plaza. And so because of that, I have to orient it so that the investor side is showing. And then I return my signature token to the board because I have sold that painting. I no longer have it. Mm -hmm. So now I can take an executive action. So either spend my tickets or... Uh, 
take one of these actions here. Okay, I am going to spend this brown ticket and just get um, an investor back into my Welcome lobby. That's it. Here. My turn is over. Okay, sounds good. So I have two, two sold and two, two in display. In. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna buy a piece of art. I'm gonna buy the cube artist over there. So <laughs> the abstract artist. Cube artist. Oh. <laughs> Do you mind? It's this one. Yeah, it's far. Okay, so you have to pay eight bucks. Eight dollars. Five, six, seven, These eight. These two go into center. The plaza. It's gonna go up one plus one, one so, so two. two, and you get two tickets that are not the same color. Yes. So one, two. And you bought that, right? I bought that. So it goes to the three green star. Perfect. Here we go. So the three green star. Oh, that's that. Oh, that's my commission. That's the one you commissioned, yeah. And I get two tickets of not like type, huh? Mm -hmm. So I will take white. And so that's gonna trigger something here. So uh, yes, after your turn. I'll take white have and have intermediate scoring. I'll take white and brown. So we're gonna two tickets have been depleted. And let me finish up the turn. So one of the whites is, I'm going to use two whites. One is going to be used to push this guy in. The other one is going to be used to move this one in right there. Okay. So those are out. And then this brown, I'm going to go ahead and move this brown right on into there as well. And now and you're completely my, done. Yeah. And then this turn? was left behind when I left. Okay. Perfect. So. Yep. Typically, we're supposed to have intermediate scoring when one stack runs out. It just so happened that, that two stacks ran out, um, but really it's only when one stack runs out. Mm -hmm. And also for the future, if we need to collect brown tickets or white tickets, we don't. it's not that we don't have access to them. We can continue to take them from the, the discarded the supply. Discard, yeah. We just discard tickets from what's remaining right. uh, to make up for them. Exactly. So our intermediate scoring is shown here, and it's basically the same thing that we've been doing with influence and money. It's two influence per uh, vip plus one per yeah. collector so and then for me it's oh, oh sorry there. you want to do that first yeah sure so one two three four so i'm gonna go up there and then yours is one two three four five six one two three four five six right, and then uh we get money as well Ooh, so it's two four you. six seven eight for me uh my brown you just didn't make it up. yeah what and then what's yours uh two four five six dollars five six there you go thank you and that's intermediate scoring. Mm -hmm. And now it's your turn. Okay, so for my next action, I'm gonna move to the international marketplace okay. and I'm gonna leave this person behind, might as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to participate in the auction. Okay. So So you can only participate in one of these two because mm -hmm. you only have a brown, no white, which right. is needed for this area. So I'm definitely going to go drop in some cash. Here. Okay. So I, according to the order of operations, I get my influence first. So it's three influence, one, two, three. Okay. And then I'm gonna pay. So I'm gonna pay $6 to go to this spot. Um, and in order to do that, I'm gonna actually pay some money here. Okay. So it's one, two, and then $4 here. Three, four, okay. Three, four, five, six. Yep. Um, and then I'm gonna put my assistant there and I get one of the benefits, so I'm just going to take the collector. Nice. It's going to go straight into my gallery because I have sold two pieces of art, two which allows art. me to have three in my gallery. Very uh, good. And then I can choose to take an executive action. I'm not going to take an executive action. Yeah, you've been doing it all game. I'm foregoing the executive. You know something that I don't know. No, well, executive actions I feel are easy to take, especially if you have tickets, but <laughs> yeah. it's not going to work out this time. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move over here and get myself a contract. And I will take this contract for the sculpture. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna place it right over here. And that gives me a brown ticket. Now, because there's no brown tickets, we discard one of the remaining tickets. And I take the brown ticket itself. Wow, we're getting there. And um, see, what else do I do? Do we fill the contract? Refill it immediately then. And then that means I will go ahead and I am going to go down here and I'm going to hire. So this, that's what this is right here. I'm going to move this onto the contract. I get to hire this worker for free. So I don't pay the two bucks and this guy's going to come off and I get a pink ticket. So that's going to go there. Okay. 
And I guess that's my turn. Do you want to do your executive? Uh, I should. I should take a location action, actually. I'm going to take the location action by spending this all the way down here. Okay. And I'm going to pick this one up. Picking up a contract? Yeah. Picking yeah. up this contract and I'm going to replace uh, this with it because I've already used it. Yep. Um, putting that there. And this assistant is going here. Okay. Thank so you. that's all for my kick dot action. All right. So now uh, for my next action, we're running out of time here. That's my concern. So I think I'm gonna go here to the artist colony. I'm gonna leave this assistant behind okay. and I'm gonna purchase a work of art. I'm gonna purchase my commission. Okay. So my commission is the red abstract artist um, and the base value was $8. So right now it's at a higher price, but I can get it for $8 because I commissioned the artist. So here's 10, we can have change. How much? Please. Two bucks. Uh, $2 change, thank you. So I paid. This was supposed to have one visitor oh, on one it, visitor on actually. It. Okay. So I'll just put it to the plaza. Yeah. Sorry. There's supposed to be one visitor on here, and it's going to go... There's going to be a pink one that was supposed to be on there the whole time. All right. And I take this topmost one, and now now one visitor <laughs> goes over here. That's right. Uh, and so this um, artist is going to go up zero plus one fame per collector I have in my gallery. So that's three. So it's one, two, three. Wow, another so, 13. So it goes into the gold, huh? So my signature goes, yeah, it so goes into the, the gold. one star gold. And I get a brown ticket. Now, just like Naveen said, there are no more brown tickets here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna toss one from here. If you can pass me a brown ticket, please. Thank you. Uh, and this gets placed right there. And then for my executive action, for my executive action, because I fear we're getting close to the end here, I'm going to put my assistant here and take this bonus, which is either taking a brown or a pink from the plaza into my gallery, and I'm going to take a pink. Makes sense. So we got that little chip. Okay. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and move over here. So we're going to me out. Action. Yeah. And then this I'll just place over here for right now. And we are going to purchase, I'm going to purchase my commission, which is the Sculpture Red. Uh, so the base price is 10, so I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to go down here 10, so that makes that 10. And we go ahead and put this guy over here, this piece of art. So it's going to go up in fame, one for every uh, one I have here, and zero, so it's going to go up two. So we're going to go up one, two. So we got the gold star. The gold star, which is perfect. This will go up here. That is gonna now come onto this part right here. I get a brown ticket, by the way. So this nice. is gonna trigger the end. So this is gonna go out wow. and brown ticket's gonna come to me. Well, it's not the end of the game yet. That's only one of the criteria that have been met. It's one of the criteria. The yeah. other two criteria are two celebrities or um, the bag is completely depleted. depleted. Which is gonna happen. Which is gonna happen gonna right happen. now. So oh this gosh. renowned shit gets to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take money. I think money is the most important thing right now because money is points. So I'm gonna put it over here. Um, so be, I don't I do not do this yet. This is the very last thing I do. Or do I do it now? Before What's your an, question? Before an executive action. I just covered this up. Does you have to finish your whole action. Okay, before, then, so I'll leave it there then. Um, so this one up, it's appropriate amount. This is here and then executive action. I should probably perform one knowing that it is almost over. So if I bring this down the here, is near. so this will go up one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to take this guy off of this spot right here and move it onto here. I have one, two, three, four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And I'm at that 16 mark right over there. And so for the final thing is placing this chip. I'm going to place it over this location right here. And it is going to be um, eight bucks. Two, four, six, seven, eight, eight dollars. Nice. Okay. And for doing so, you must kick out somebody, somebody from your lobby. Who's it going to be? Uh, let's kick out the brown one. All right. So okay, I and get. Then I have to load up on this. So this oh, yeah. is. Is it the end? Is this your last turn right here? What, what's the question? What do you mean? Because. So that's the end? There's that's no more. The end of the bag, yeah. Okay, so now there are no more uh, visitors in the bag. So the so whole thing is. Two depleted. out of the three conditions for our end game have been met. Right. The box office is empty and the bag is completely depleted of visitors. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get uh, any of these artists to celebrity status. Just so you know how that works, once an artist becomes a celebrity, 
whoever got that artist to become a celebrity is going to get five dollars bonus mm -hmm. um they unlock this section of their board and any of their art the celebrity art <laughs> goes there and that piece of art sells for twenty dollars that's pretty much what celebrity status and the does. person who does it pushes them there gets five bucks yeah that's pretty much it for celebrity status um so the way that the rest of the game is going to work is i was kicked out so i'm going to take my kicked out action if you choose. then if i if i so choose and then uh because naveen started the game we finish out this round so i'm going to get one more action and then we're going to take one more round right. but in the last round if anybody gets kicked out you don't get a kicked out action that's right okay yeah so kicking kicking out is like no longer a thing now thing, yeah so I can't if I want if I wanted to take a location action I can't buy any more art because I'm maxed out here. Okay, so uh, for my kicked out action I'm just gonna take an executive action and bring the brown uh, investor from my lobby into my gallery. Okay, and that's it. So for my penultimate turn. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's right. Yeah, one more. Uh, so I go back to my home and then I'm gonna go uh, to this location here kicking you out mm. and I'm going to sell but before I sell I'm going to I'm going to take my assistant from this location and actually take my executive action first okay I'm gonna take this bonus money yeah it makes sense so it's gonna be nine uh, bucks two four six seven eight nine dollars so I'll give you a ten if you want to give one back okay there you go and now that I'm done with my executive action, I'm going to take the location action, which is selling. And I'm going to sell my abstract art. So I have a contract for it right here. That's going to be, what, 14 bucks? So according to my signature, yep. yeah, $14. 14 bucks. This is for the red abstract right artist. There you go. Thank you. So $14. And then I am going to put this off to the side. So who gets booted? I have to kick somebody out of my gallery. So I think it's going to have to be uh, the brown investor okay he took the whole painting so with him back to yep he went and he oh, bought my abstract art and then this assistant goes back to the office and i get to flip this over with the money side up and the signature goes back for purchasing okay so this is the last time i can take a kicked out action this is your so. last kickable action okay i will do it i i will go down I'll take the location action by going down one. Okay. I finally got to use that. You did. I did it. And I'm not going to sell. I'm actually going to get a contract, which sounds kind of strange because I have the cube, but no contract to go with it. When so, he says cube, he means abstract art. Abstract <laughs> oh art. Oh my goodness. Which is cube. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to overlay it over the one I've already used. So this guy goes back. Very good. And this goes out of the game or it just, no, it stays. just stays there just stays. It stays. you just over, overlay it okay just like that you overlay it to show that you can't take the ticket that's underneath it right and that is that so then this comes back to me right yep okay you get your assistant got my assistant done that's that and then refill the contract not yes. that it really matters well it might i guess might. okay so now we are in the last round no uh kicked out actions you can still take executive actions you just can't kick anybody out for mm -hmm. anything or you don't get the bonus of it so what are you going to do for your last turn of the game man i i think i have to go back there and then now sell <laughs> sell the, <laughs> the cube because of this card i might have i mean that was great that i kicked you out there right because that's why i placed one out there yeah you know i made a mistake a couple rounds earlier i had this worker just kind of sitting here i should have placed him over here to take a free action earlier but I, I didn't so i'm gonna go ahead and move you over here so you're not allowed to do no, this so i might as so well go back go to home. my home gallery so i'm gonna sell and i'm gonna sell that newly acquired contract well actually before i do that i'm gonna take my executive action oh okay and the executive action is going to be putting this uh worker onto this so that's going to be a free worker coming back to me our assistant and um, so I don't have to spend the three dollars. This was a free uh, assistant, and I get to go up on my um, influence track right here. So I get one, two, three, four. That's my bonus. So one, two, three, four, and then now I will go ahead and do the actual main action, and that's going to be getting rid of this contract. And I'll figure out how I want to flip it, but it's going to be getting rid of the cube art. So the cube art, like we said before, is worth fourteen. It's the exact same thing that Monique just sold. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then who's getting booted? Let's just boot the money man. Money man gets <laughs> booted. Okay. And I believe that's it. I can't do anything else. Nice.
And conveyor belt style, this gets slid down right here. All right. Okay, that's it. So last action of the game. For me, I think I'm going to do something a little... Dramatic? A little wild. Let me just see this. Okay. So I'm going to go to the artist colony and I'm going to purchase art. You don't want to just discover one? No, I need, uh, I need, uh, I need a specific piece of art, maybe. No. One of my cards. Let's see. I need a, I'm going to buy this one. So okay. this is the blue painter. The guy I commissioned a long time ago. It's 12, yeah, we just brought it ago. full circle. Well, no, you, I, I commissioned him, then you, you bought and sold, and then now you're coming back from. Yeah, full circle, back to that art, that artist is just so good, you know? Okay, so I'm purchasing um, a painting from this, this artist here. Because. It's gonna cost me $12, 12. so here's 10, 11, 12. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna take the topmost painting. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and you know, another thing that we haven't been mentioning is this, these are real works of art. Oh yeah? Well, I believe so. I think so. We'll have to get back to that. So, <laughs> so I bought this painting. I'm gonna increase the artist's fame by one plus the number of collectors I have there. So that's four total, oh, wow, one, money. two, three, four. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Overkill. I take the painting. It looks like it's at the double star. Is it the double star? It is. I also get two tickets of my choice. Mm -hmm. So I get a brown. You get a brown. And I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. I don't I, think so. I think no. so. Let's get a pink just for fun. Okay. And then this, sorry, before I take the tickets, um, I'm actually going to continue to increase this artist's fame. It only takes three more to become a celebrity. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Wow. And turn this artist into bam, bam, bam. Totally celebrity. You can do that. I, can, I never remember in this game to this do that. This artist is so fabulous. They're a celebrity. Wow, we did it. We got, we got an artist to become a celebrity. You did it. <laughs> I didn't do it. It was teamwork because you helped me with that one. You, oh, didn't you? That was my discovered. first one I discovered, yeah. yeah. So I get to put Beat. this painting in the celebrity square. So you get five bucks for doing that. You get five that. bucks. That's the killer right there. Thank you. Wow. It's only five points. So because this person is now, or sorry, this person is now a celebrity, you put this tile over their uh, spot here, the artist tile, to show that they're a celebrity. And so I got the $5 already. Um, all this means is whoever has a piece of art from that celebrity artist now unlocks their fourth slot here. Right. This tile doesn't, ne doesn't necessarily go here. It just has, I just have an additional slot. And this slot is only available as long as you still have a piece of, of art from them. Once an artist becomes a celebrity, nobody can purchase art from them anymore, but you can continue to promote them. Mm. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And so now this signature actually goes up to the celebrity, which is $20. And that's it for that action. Uh, I didn't take an executive action yet, so I might as well do that now, which I mean, I might as well just do this and take money because at the end of the game, it's money that you want. So yeah. two, four, five, six, seven dollars. Sheesh, slow down. There you go. That's it. And we are done. That's the end. All right. The end of the gallerist. How do you feel? Not good. That was a big move. Big it moves. was, uh, that was a beautiful but stressful game. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to go into endgame scoring. And I love that starting, I think it's starting with this game that Vital kind of put all the endgame scoring conditions yeah, here, yeah. which is nice. So we're going to go in order. So let's just take a cube and we're going to start here. Okay. So starting with this uh, spot here, this is for the international marketplace. And this is where we score the majorities for the columns. It's okay. pretty clear who's going to get what. So Naveen is going to get 15 dollars yep. because he's the only one in this column so, so giving him the majority 15. unfortunately if, if i had put out one more in we there then we would yeah. have we would have shared and that's right you. yeah that's right but i didn't so i'm gonna get five dollars for this column six bucks you get six. Oh, six dollars sorry six dollars two four and six there you go thank you so moving on to the next spot here, here we're now. uh those are your reputation tiles our reputation yeah since you went first would you sure. like to score yours first uh so for every cube i've been in for every abstract abstract art. Yeah, cube abstract art yeah sorry uh i get three bucks and one influence i only got one unfortunately throughout the course of the game so i get one and then three dollars nice 
Okay. And then you have another tile right yeah, there? Yeah, for every sold piece of art, uh, I get three bucks and one influence. So I get one, two, because I have two influence sold, and then I get six bucks. Nice. Okay, and yourself? Okay, this is for every um, VIP mm -hmm. in my gallery at the end of the game. It's one influence and two dollars. So you get six so bucks. Six dollars and three influence. So one, two, three, because I have three of them. Yep. No? There you go. Thank you. And then the second one is for each um, sculpture that I've acquired. I yep. get one influence and three dollars. I've acquired two sculptures. So six bucks. So two influence, one, two, and six dollars. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the next one. So this is uh, scoring your exhibitions, which basically means everything that you still have in your gallery is going to be sold for money. It stays in here for mm -hmm. the purposes of our end game scoring cards but we're going to now cash it in. Okay. So would you like to go? So this one we'll just say is dedicated to that. So that's eight. Wait, what is this for? Oh, that was from the cube I had previously sold. I should have put that back. Oh, okay. Yeah. So sorry, this is incorrect. We're putting that yeah, back. So this is eight plus, uh, I believe this one is 14. Where is this? The red one. It's at 14, right? Yeah, the gold star. So eight plus 14, and that is gonna be 22, right? Yep. Let me just make sure all of mine are, yeah, are proper. So they, blue sculpture is on the two green star and red photography, two green star and this. Okay. And so I have three pieces of art. And so I'm going to get money where, you know, equal to where the signatures are. So two of them are worth $8, that's 16. And then the masterpiece is $20, so 36. 36. I'm going to give you 51. Give me 15 back. Oops, there you go. There you go. All right, so that's that. And then the next section. Yes, this is the big mess up. We're now auctioning renowned, the renowned work of art, which is this. This is basically just, um, it just acts as one of the other types of art, except it can be used for either your curator card or your dealer card. Mm -hmm. And you get money. You get to sell it basically at whatever is the higher price between the two artists of that type. So the only which one. Which is only the one that there, yeah. So you look at over here, whoever spent the most, I'm the only one who spent money there. Yeah, so it's going to come to me and I'm gonna put it next to my curator card. So it's gonna go with along with these, the ones that are in my gallery. But I get money for it equal to whatever level this artist it's is at. It's one gold star. It's like one gold star, 14? which is $14. Oh boy. There you go. Thank you. We are almost done here. <laughs> this is a long scoring process. The next thing that we score are our curator cards. So they're the white cards that basically show a combination of stuff that you want to have in your gallery by the end of the game. I didn't score any. I, I couldn't. You couldn't? Just, so this yeah, is... There were so many conflicts. Looks like Naveen's was sculpture, abstract, and painting for $10, or mm -hmm. the com this combination for 15 Yeah, two photos, two. abstract, and painting. Didn't. Couldn't do it. So I scored one of mine, and only because I was able to get mm. the renowned work of art. Nice. So it's a, a photograph, which is this, an abstract art, which is my new one, and then the and painting. painting yep. So that's for $10. Oh, that's, wow. And then um, now wow. we score our... That's a 24-point thing over there for you. That's yeah, that huge. Auction. Auction. Yeah. Don't ignore your auction. It's hard. Um, and then the next one is the dealer card, dealer which is card. the dark one. I did do this. So this is for combination sets of the artwork that you've sold. Stuff you've sold during the game. Yeah, so I have a painting and an abstract, and unfortunately, the game just ended before I could sell these off to get another 10, but oh, I get, yeah, I know. So, so paint, one painting, one abstract for $10? Which I have, yep, 10 bucks. And then unfortunately, the game ended before I could sell, sell these, these off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I did two of them. Ooh. So I did one abstract. It's one abstract art for $5, okay. and then a painting and a sculpture for $10. 10 so it's a total of 15. 15 yeah. You. And then the last thing that we score is our positions on the influence track. So I'm not very far here. So money gets three bucks. So I get three dollars because that's the last, or that's the you know, the last and then threshold. Right I right on eight, right here. So I get eight dollars. Five, six, seven, eight. And now we're done scoring, yeah. but we have to count all our money. Right. So give us one second. Uh, ah. Yeah. We're ready. Okay. We've, we've counted our scores. I've come to the conclusion that I got 84 points. $84. And what'd you get? 127. I knew it. <laughs> I said 130 she was going to have. 127. Very nice. No, I didn't hit 130. Well Good job. Good job to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished our two-player playthrough of The Gallerist. Uh, Monique had an excellent game today. It was uh, a lot good. of uh, when luck meets opportunity kind of stuff. <laughs>
It was only two of us, so that's pretty good. It was yeah. a good play. It was fun. It was very fun. Uh, yeah. So what did you think overall? Um, I really, really like this game now. Oh. I'm saying now oh. because this is actually the second <laughs> Lacerda I ever played. Yeah. So Kanban I, play, I played first. Kanban, uh, fell in love with it, and then tried this game and totally didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I did not understand. I This is one of those games that... You know, every time I had to come back to it, I'd have to like relearn how the influence track works, how the different areas work, because it just was not clicking. Mm -hmm. But now that I've played it a, a few more times, wow, it's such a good game. What did you think? Yeah, I really like this one. Um, I still struggle with with timing in this game, um, but I guess we can talk about that in, in terms of mechanisms. But overall, I really like the game. I think it plays very, very well. We've played it at all player counts. Yeah. Um, excellent. So once again, Vital does another great game with lots of theme. What do you think about it? Yeah, I yeah. really, really like this theme. This is another another u unique theme from him. I haven't played a game yet, a, a heavy game at least, that's about collecting art, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not just about collecting art. There's like way more to this theme than that. He incorporates the different types of visitors. You have investors versus VIP or influencers or collectors. Uh, there's the section where you're discovering artists mm -hmm. and then you go to the international market and you often there's so much to Get do but everything yeah. has to do with art right art artists collecting your your art pieces for your gallery it's really interesting in the way that everything interweaves just yep. like you know it wouldn't be a vital game if it if things did not interweave the way that when they theme do theme meets mechanics that's a vital game yes mm -hmm. so this game was released in 2015 and that's right around the time where we got more into gaming than than before you know that was like where it really took off for us yeah and so we were so used to kind of seeing these you know the, the kind of drab drier euro games and then <laughs> when you see this art you know and the whole package of this game with that big box and all the components um, laid out on your table i mean it it really took it to another level it really draws yeah. people in like people when you're playing this people will walk by your table and ask what game what game is this like this yeah. is components are are wonderful Excellent. the box is huge i think that's that's kind of where we differ i don't really mind the really big eagle griffin boxes <laughs> and i mean it just takes up a, a lot of space yeah that's it yeah i mean i think it has nice like uh um, shelf presence but yes they take up a lot of space you have to yeah. have like a vital section almost yeah that's right um are you okay, man? Now we played it, like you said, at, at all player counts. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you feel about the two player experience? Because I, in my opinion, it was quite different yeah. from three or four players. Um, I like it at two because you have the opportunity to go back to back if you position yourself correctly. You know what I mean? In a four player mm -hmm. game, you may get a kicked out action, um, but you don't have the opportunity to then take another turn right after. So you're not truly set up and i think you played very well this game with that with allowing yourself to be in multiple locations at once knowing that no matter what i did you would get another action right i mean yeah. just like in in the other heavier games that we were talking about with two players it's this game is definitely less stressful at two you, you have all the same mechanisms at your disposal but you can you can plan further ahead in a two-player game so like naveen was saying if you position yourself you know, properly on the influence tracker as well as the assistance on the, the different location spaces, you can definitely plan so that you're taking two actions back to back. Yes. Because you get a kicked out action and then you go next, mm -hmm. right? So that's very uh, special to a two player game because you can do that co pretty much constantly. Yeah, you got to get those assistants out. You do. Yeah, you, you got to get them in like the first third of the game. I, I realize that. Assistants are really important. They give yeah. you access, right? Assistance in. Right. In real life, you have people who help you, and right. that's just, you can multitask, you can get a lot more done with assistance. So in this game, yeah. invest in them early. Yeah, because I think you at one point in the game, you had nine bucks, and you spent eight to get four of them out, mm -hmm. plus the two basic. It felt risky, had. but... No, that was the right play, for unlocking sure. Unlocking that for the rest of the game was really helpful. I didn't have to buy anymore, or hire anymore. Mm -hmm. In a two-player game, you do lose access to that middle column. Mm -hmm. So that was a little bit difficult for me to like remember, like, oh no, you actually can't. Right. use that that column because that's a nice one because you're pretty much uh, left with either you have a collector and somebody else or you mm -hmm. only have one person there's no in between right so um i do miss that but otherwise great at two yeah the, the only thing that really gets scaled is like she said the column is completely gone and then also the visitors there's less in the bag less in the bag yeah. less, tickets. less tickets so t timing wise it scales so that you're not just playing this incredibly long game yeah. Or longer than it already is, right? right? right. So scales really well. 
Um, also highly replayable, in Very my opinion. Very much so, yeah. Because the there are more artists than what than the eight that we played with. Yep, so that always changes. a whole second set of it. And they all mix match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there are the reputation tiles, which I think is the, the biggest part of it, right? There's, there's a ton of them. And so that always kind of changes. Um, and we also didn't mention earlier, but uh, there's also a solo mode to this game, which mm -hmm. I think is cool. I always really like it when there's a solo mode in a heavy game for yeah. all those solo players out there. Dexter, okay. you're leaking. Otherwise, how did you enjoy the mechanics of this game as compared to the ones that we've already played or just in general? So I liked all the other ones, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, but I really like the mechanics in this one. Uh, I like where you first start off by discovering an artist. And so you've locked in that low, low price for that artist. <laughs> so you can do other things and know you can always go back to that artist. But in a two player game specifically, it gets a little challenging because the same number of artists are laid out there. And so you might not be teaming up with your opponent to push that particular artist to go forward. So I think that's a little bit more interesting in a two player mm, game. That's uh, sometimes in a four player game, it's like, hey, me and other player, we'll we'll push this up and then we can sell at the right. same time. Yeah, you can kind of collude. Collude a little with, bit. With, more, with, uh, with higher player counts. Mm -hmm. So I think that's actually what, going back to player count, that's what makes that more interesting totally. in a four yeah. player game. Mm -hmm. uh, because you're investing in the same kind of art yeah that's so the, yeah sorry go ahead so you're helping each other there's a lot more it's a lot more likely that you'll get artists to celebrity status in higher player counts yes because you have so you know obviously you have more than just the two of us working on it mm -hmm. but in a two-player game you know getting an artist to celebrity status is very purposeful like you are you are intending on making this yeah. artist a celebrity in a two three and four player game you still always use two signature tokens. So yes. only two of you will ever be working on this. So in a game like this, if Monique sees I'm gonna go employ uh, one person, she's just gonna say, well, fine, then you deal with that. I'm gonna go this way and do something different. So yes. it changes it up a little bit in terms of the me mechanisms for that game, but uh, for this uh, at two players. But I think it's really cool. Um, it's a worker placement. I like how each spot has two different actions that yeah. are somewhat related. The simplicity of that yeah. is, beautiful yeah and also you know this game comes with the best player aid so far in his line mm -hmm. i think because excellent yeah. you know in in previous playthroughs we may have uh, missed a rule or gotten a rule wrong because there are just so many rules it's really hard to remember how to do them all properly but this player aid will literally tell you if you go to the sales office step one do, do this, this. Yeah. step two yeah. so you can read the rules and then just have this with you and play the entire game exactly yeah. it's great yeah um, the kicked out actions, like we talked about earlier, going back to mechanisms, fantastic, absolutely, like, important in this game to, to put yourself there. I love the way the influence track works, where if you just put yourself one up or two up in the margins, uh, when you do get kicked out, you can just go ahead and move back to that, that next fame location right. so that you can take a full-on action. So speaking of the influence track, mm -hmm. For me, I think the influence track is what really shines the most in this game. So, you know, each of the other games that we've covered so far have some sort of a track, but this is the first time that we're really seeing an influence track in his designs. Yep. In Vinos, we had the bank. The bank, yeah. In CO2, we had um, the knowledge tracks. And in Kanban, we had the certification track and the administrative track. Mm -hmm. But in this one, this influence track is, it's so important because it's basically managing how much you can do in this game. There are so many different resources in this game. You have fame, influence, money, and I, I almost visitors. consider visitors and another tickets. for yeah, and tickets. And it's tickets, like yeah. five different uh, types of currency that you're kind you're kind of trying to manage. And so, if you want to be able to take the most amount of actions in this game, you play the influence track. Yeah, you play the influence mm -hmm. game because you really want to position yourself like either in front of the pink marker so that you only need to spend one ticker to take an extra action, mm -hmm. a whole action. Yeah. And right? I, like the, I like the fact that there's money embedded within that. Yes. So you can then spend money from the track to move yourself into a position that makes sense when you take a kicked out action yes. to then move down to the fame. Exactly. So if, yeah. you, if you are playing this game, manipulate that track as much as you can, yes. either by earning more influence, earning more money, or spending the money. 
and just spending uh, sometimes you can even spend fame mm -hmm. like how we did at the very end there yeah, to get that was to big. celebrity status so Huge. this track is so important that is one of those rules in this game that i always forget is the fact that whenever you are boosting fame either through a promotion or when you're buy, uh, buying art, was it? Uh, or when you, yeah, when you purchase art. art, you can also drop down those fame levels to just keep, to keep boosting it up. your artist. Yeah, I always forget that status. rule in this game. That's a really big play. But mm -hmm. it's also probably the most difficult part of the game for me. And I think this is uh, this is the part of the game because the, all, each location only has two actions. So the game is not difficult to understand in that regard. It's actually really simple. But figuring out what influence does for you versus what fame does for you versus how the money works. That's the part that kind of, I keep on having to reread the rules and like mm -hmm. get back to it every time I play. I think now it's a little bit more solidified, but yeah. especially in the beginning, that part kind of broke my brain. <laughs> and just one last thing kind of about the influence track, you know, just kind of, we spoke on it giving you the ability to take extra actions in the sort of games. That's what you want to do. Like you really, if, if you hear of a way in the rules that you'll be able to take extra actions, you need to figure out a way to do it. Like in in Kanban, it was having extra shifts. Mm -hmm. in, those shifts yeah. in Vinos, it was having extra wine, right? To yes. move those barrels, to take those... Um, the magnate actions. The magnate yeah. actions, the mm -hmm. magnate abilities. In this game, it's this influence track. Yes. So figure it out. Influence and run track with, it. with a combination of having enough assistance out on the board. Yes. Get your assistance. Cool. And, and that's another thing. You're playing several different puzzles in this game. You're playing the assistant game where you need to manage your assistants properly. You don't want to have an assistant come home and kick them out of the game. Because mm -hmm. there's also, there's actually a reputation tile that gives you points for hired assistants. Yep. But also, you know, you can use your assistants to, to get the bonuses on the contract cards. You can get the assistants back if you sell. If you use the right contract to sell. If you, yep. Exactly, mm -hmm. if you use the right contract to sell. Um, which gives you another bonus on the other side to use exactly. your assistant for, which Again. you can get the assistant back by getting another contract. Another contract card. knocking that so off. So yeah. there's the assistant game that you're also playing. There's also the ticket game, the visitor game. That is that is a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a game. Yeah. The ability to kick a visitor out of somebody's plaza. Yeah, you is... only did it once. You got you got it. That In a was four good. player yeah. game, it's a little bit more necessary. It's yes. terrible terrible that people have to do it but sometimes it's really necessary yeah these visitors in your lobby are another way for you to be able to do more things like you have to have a visitor in your lobby to go to that to international area. to even yeah. go to that location yeah so that the ticket game is really important figuring out exactly which colors to use do i want to go heavy investor or do i want to go heavy vip mm -hmm. right yep. and when because this game is all about timing so in the end in the end Another great one. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of the theme. Yeah. Another great one Another is kind of something one. we're going to be saying a lot. But yeah, I really love this game. Yep. Um, this is this is one that had to grow on me for sure. But yes, really fun game. Really beautiful. Highly recommend. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this, please consider subscribing. And also, if you're interested in really good Instagram work, check out Play That Funky Board Game on Instagram. And join us next week for the continuation of our series. We're getting close. Getting close. We're end, getting yeah. close. So I think Almost. next week is Lisboa. Lisboa. Yes. See you then. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.